Welcome to my mathematics demo. This time I will guide you through solving Sudoku puzzles. Sudoku puzzles were first discovered in Japan and are based on magic squares and Latin squares. First you will need to download the Excel document from the link below displayed in the info section of YouTube. So let's take a look at sudokusolver.xls file. The file consists of five tabs. Sudoku example 1, Sudoku example 2, Sudoku solver, Sudoku puzzles and solution sheet. What I will do is guide you through Sudoku example 2. You will find that Sudoku example 1 is less challenging to complete by the end of the demo you will not only be able to complete Sudoku example 1 and Sudoku example sheet, puzzle sheet but be competent in solving many more Sudoku puzzles by yourselves. So let's start with Sudoku example 2. Basic principles of a Sudoku grid is to place values 1 to 9 horizontally within the grid vertically and in a 3 by 3 subgrid. Without any repetition. The worksheet allows us to do this more efficiently through a process of elimination. We need to cycle through 1 to 9 and repeat process as necessary and we do this by selecting cell C9 and changing the values within that cell from 1 to 9 1. This will highlight the Sudoku grid for us where all green sections the cells coloured in green are dis displayed as non cells which cannot accept a value of 1. The, the other cells can accept a value of 1 and therefore we can place a value of 1 clearly within this 3x3 three three block here as that is the only place where 1 can be accepted within that 3x3 three three block. So we place 1 there and um, what we see here is we cannot place a 1 within this block or here as there are two blank cells. Here however we have two blank cells within this block. We can pull a value of 1 in as the only place 1 can exist within this block is in column 9 which means we cannot place a value of 1 there forcing the value of 1 in this section here. So let's quickly solve this with a value of 2. OK, here we can see that there are no clear indication of where we can put 2. It doesn't matter, we continue to a value of 3. What we have here is if we look at the vertical columns we can have a value of 1 in one place only within this column 2. There are no other places which can accept a value of 3 within this column 2. And we place a value of 3 here. Again, similarly, column 8 here, value of 3 can be placed only in one, one place, and that's this place here. move on to 4 within this 3x3 three three grid one place only you would only do this where there's a clear indication of where to put these values with a single non-vacant cell 4 5 
fix. Here, within this 3x3, there's only one vacant cell where 6 can be accepted, and it's here. This opens up. We have instant updates, which means it opens up all of the places where we can enter a value of 6. What we have here is this column 7 is the only column within this 3x3 three three block that can accept a value of 7 and therefore 7 has to exist within that column in that block which means we cannot put a value of 7 here and that will force a value of 7 here in column 8. Eight, nine. Right, we have a value of 9 which can be placed in this block here, uh, row 6. So if, we, if, we, if these are the only two positions where value of 9 can be accepted in row 6, it means we can eliminate the value of 6 from row 6 within this 3x3 three three block here, forcing the value of 6 up, uh, value of 9 at the top up here. Okay, value of 9 here. And repeat the process again as necessary. 1. We have a value of 1 within this column 3 forces of this out and one within that column one here. Two three It's all about being observant when you're solving these grids. The less observant you are, the more difficult it will make it for you to realize where these values can be accepted. The more observant you are, the quicker you'll solve these puzzles. Repeat the process again from 1 to 9. You will notice there will always be there should always be a place where you can enter values in. In column 8 here, there's only one place that two can go. the process again. Keep repeating this process until you solve the puzzles and there are no empty cells left.
set value in C9 to X to clear green cell formatting when finished. So put that value here as X. That will clear our green cell formatting. Now, this seems all correct at the moment, and as we were solving this puzzle, it was actually checking whether these values are unique values horizontally, vertically, and within the 3x3 three three grid. We can test this whether they were unique values or not by, say, changing this value of 8 in column 6 here to a value of 6, for example. If we change this value, we can see all other values that clash with these values. All values that clash will show up in red, such as these. What we do is we change that back to 8, and we can see the solution is clearly correct. If we try any other values anywhere else, we have the same issue. Solution is incorrect if there are any red cells or empty cells within this grid, within this 9x9 nine nine grid here. To solve puzzles from Sudoku Puzzle Sheet here, simply select the puzzle that you would like to solve, copy, right click now, right mouse click and copy the puzzle, and go to your Sudoku Sudoku Q Solver grid and highlight the entire grid. And paste. This will paste all the values within this grid here. And select cell C9 and follow the process of elimination with as an individual approach that I've showed you in example 2. I shan't complete this, I'll let you for yourselves. Let's put an X there to clear the green formatting. Basically follow the process of elimination and complete the puzzle yourselves in your own time. You may use the Excel printing functionality to print out a copy for your record or use the puzzle for a class activity. So basically you can print the puzzle out and get the class to complete it without the aid of Excel. Okay. To clear the Sudoku grid, so simply select the entire grid, right mouse click and click clear contents. This will clear the contents of the grid. You may also input values from Sudoku puzzle books, newspapers and magazines into the Sudoku solver grid and solve them. This concludes the demo and I hope you enjoy solving Sudoku puzzles using the Sudoku solver. Don't forget to click the link in the info section for your very own copy of Sudoku Solver.xls file.